Welcome back, this is Yamachek! Oh my god! I forgot to end the last episode, and then I forgot to start this episode. So the end of the last episode is me talking about how I forgot to, like, introduce myself and say welcome back to Zyamajak. So I have to go cut that out in post. I'm gonna have to, like, make a note about that in the file name because otherwise I will totally forget. By the time I actually get around to uploading them all. And then uh, I'll upload them all and I'll be, like, watching it back and I'll be like, oh, I have to go and redo this one. I'll have to re-upload it and it's a whole thing. It's real frustrating. So I'll have to just cut that back to like 12 minutes or so. Oh, it's gonna take so long to render though. That's why I don't like, I don't like it. I like just recording and uploading. Nice and simple. I have to go and edit that one. You know what? I'm just gonna delete it. <laughs> I'll just record another one. We died. We died right here. I got to... Um... I don't want to edit it. <laughs> I'm just gonna delete it. I guess I can edit it on YouTube too. That's, that's also true. I can trim it down on YouTube. I've done that for, uh, for a couple of videos where I say something that I feel is maybe a little bit too controversial. It's an opinion of mine that I might hold, that I would be comfortable talking about in my private life, but that maybe, maybe on YouTube, maybe it's just not really fitting. It's not really fitting. I wasted a lot of bullets. Wasted many bullets. Many bullets have been wasted here. Oh, I thought I built to like pre-fire that one. I was so looking forward to it. The one thing about this whole pausing the video thing is the music continues, so it's like a little bit of a skip. But it was important. It was important. I had to do it. I didn't have a choice. There's nothing I could do, dude. I had to go and delete the, the stupid thing before I uh, I forgot about it. Oh, what a what a dumb mistake of mine, you know? Like how could I how could I have done that? How could I have done that? I have to record another video. That was 12 minutes of my life just wasted. I mean, I still had fun, but... Deja vu. Pretty sure we've done this in an episode before. I hear you. Don't think I don't. Must have been a stalker. Hey. Where's the other quarter pants? Where's the other quarter pants? With cheese. With cheese. Friendships are weird. I don't really have a, a rant about it. They're just weird. I mean, you just... You talk to the same person. You grow a little bit closer. And at one point, you're comfortable talking about more things. And then, you know, at some point, maybe you guys say the wrong thing. And now you're not comfortable talking about anything with each other. It's just, uh... Weird. I don't get it. I have friends, but I don't. I don't get it. I love them dearly, but I don't understand why. How does that happen? How do you just? How do you just make friends and then just? You know, like two years ago, three. I don't know, three years ago, four years ago. How long ago was it since I joined this uh, this server anyway? In the the rain meter server, we're in. Uh, Got a little cool kids chat in there for all the cool kids. And, uh, I've been there for, I don't know, three, four years now? I joined, like, three or four years. Like, it, it's, at this point, it's not even about Rain Meter anymore, which is, like, a, uh, thing that's, um, customizing your desktop on Windows. It's not even about that anymore for me. It's just, it's, it's just a, a chat where I go and, and talk with people and stuff. I mean, I, I don't even use Rain Meter anymore. I, uh, at all. And, so it's not, even, it's not even about that, it's just, it's about the people, and three years ago, I never would have thought joining the server that I would still be, like, there now. 
I mean, it's not the same as like the YouTube thing, because like, I have no troubles with just being in a chat server for like a while. But, um, it's 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 weird that I'm still like active there and that I I care about these people and I just I never thought that like that would really happen. We're gonna upgrade these instead of get ammo because that'll probably help us more since we're using blocks for most stuff anyway. Uh, it's weird. It's weird. Like how how friendships develop and stuff over over that kind of stuff. We don't talk about Raymond anymore. We talk about just random crap like, why are you changing my colors? <laughs> And uh, other such grand uh, topics, but we're still we're still all friends and together and happy. Some people leave. That one that one really just I don't I don't get that either. Like oh, I'm spending too much time here. I'm like I, I just I don't I don't get it. I mean I'll I'll respect their decisions if that's what they want to do, but. Like I, I like you guys, but I'm just I'm spending too much time here. I can't I can't be doing this. I mean, it's an addiction or whatever, sure, but like you wouldn't do that with friends in real life, really, right? Like you wouldn't just tell your friends in real life that like, hey, I'm a little bit overwhelmed, so I'm never gonna talk to you again. <laughs> Still like you, but uh, just can't handle it. Uh, I'm addicted to to conversations with you, and it's just uh. But that is something that happens online all the time, and it's 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 strange to me because I uh, it shows how we treat the people we know online differently. Um, I don't personally. I treat people online pretty much the same way I do uh, people in person. I don't I don't like consider them to be different. Like everybody online is is a real person on the other end of the of the internet. You know, they're all they're all real people. So they all have real feelings and real motivations and you know whatnot. So this guy just spawned. I'm pretty sure I just saw him like pop into existence there. So uh, you know to, to to say something that I wouldn't say to a real friend just because they're online and it's not the same kind of it just doesn't make sense to me. But then that I could even get to that point in the first place with people at all is is also kind of. Incredible to me. I don't know. Friendships are just weird. You just you just meet people and you grow to like them and then you just you stay together and now I don't really care to like meet other people. I mean I still do, but like I don't I don't have the same desires to go make new friends and stuff because I I have friends and I'm happy with them and I don't know. It's it's a it's a it's a weird thing I, I think about sometimes. I don't think I can really describe it accurately. How I feel about it, but it's just strange. See ya. You thought he could hurt me? What a fool! Long distance relationships are another one that's kind of strange to me, but also not. I uh, I know a lot of people who have been in long distance relationships and have had success. I know a lot of people who have been in long distance relationships and haven't had success, but the part that always gets me is like getting to the point where you'd want to try that out with somebody is uh, that stupid sword in their face. <laughs> like that slow motion there, you could see it clearly bounce off. That, that one sucked. Um, but getting to the point where you can be interested in that, like care about somebody as much as, as you would in person. And, and want to try out a relationship and 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 whatnot online is I don't know that that's to me it's it it, it shows that the feelings are more genuine um, personally because you know you have to put in a lot more work for it um, to make it work in the first place like it's just it's it's clearly not about a physical thing right they just genuinely enjoy your company and they'd be interested in it. Um, but then it's also a lot harder because you have there's so many compromises you have to think about in, uh, in long distance relationships as well because at one point one of you guys is going to have to make a sacrifice and 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 move right like you can't i don't believe anyway that you, you could make a long distance relationship work without eventually moving together 
I don't think you could make any relationship work where you don't move together, let alone a long distance relationship. And so, when you get into a long distance relationship like that, you have to kind of think about that. And then, just just being able to get to the point where you'd be willing to make that kind of a commitment. And obviously it's not like right from day one you're committed to, to moving over there. Like That's what the relationship's about, is, is deciding whether you're, you're comfortable with that. But at the very least, you'd have to think that you might be, right? Like, if you're like, I will definitely not move, and the other person's like, I will also definitely not move. Like, how would we try a relationship? I'm like, it's, it's obviously not going to work. Like, you don't, just don't waste your time. There, there's there's not going to be, nothing's going to come of this. Um, oh, that's super unfun. We may die. If I can't get my health up real quick here. Oh, no. I heard some flesh pounds. Okay, we gotta use this to take you out, because uh, otherwise we don't have the ammunition! Okay, this is working okay. Saved! Whew. But just, just getting to the point where you'd be willing to make that commit with, with somebody is... Because uh, even if you're talking to somebody, right? And you're like, yeah, I'm interested. Being at the point where you'd want to make a commitment and actually start something with them. That's, that's like a whole another level on top of that, right? In my opinion, anyway. And, uh... But some people do it. Some people are into that, and then... It either works or it doesn't, but... Like, how does it get to that point? Just just from talking with somebody, you know, just a, a name. You don't even know, you might not even know their real name. I mean, you probably do at the point. At the point where you're ready to make that commitment. You probably know each other's real names, right? Um... But... You wouldn't... You wouldn't know their address, or just so many basic things that you take for granted that you wouldn't necessarily know because it's not relevant, and you'd still be willing to make like some level of a commitment to them like that. That's uh, that's weird. And uh, I mean, I get it. I've uh, well, it's 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 a very strange thing that can happen. Just, just being able to to get that way, just, just from never being able to touch each other, and then, and then still wanting to, like, you can't even hug or like hold hands or shake hands or, or, or anything, you know. But then you're still willing to, to put in that commitment. Like that's just brains are weird, man. Okay, I'm gonna go for deagles on this one. He should be coming down from here. Yeah. What happened to that? Buddy. You just had a bit of a whiff there, hey? Bit of a bit of a whiff. Just a minor little whiff, no biggie or anything, right? Uh, he's gonna get away. He is definitely gonna get away. Probably gonna get away. Yeah, he's getting away. That's fine. We will uh We'll accept this. I just don't understand how it works. And like I have friends online and I have people who I'm romantically interested online. You know, like I get it. I have the same feelings, but I still don't understand them. You know, like they don't make sense to me. Nope, <laughs> not doing that one. Where's the door? Where's the door? Where's the door? Who? Still weird, right? Still weird. I don't really know where I'm going with it, but I just think it's weird. It's uh, it's cool though. It's cool. It's weird in a cool way. One of those things, you know? This is a really bad kill. Um, hoping I can actually make it happen. 
Not sure if I will be able to. I'm hoping I can, but this is not going so hot so far. It's going like pretty bad actually, to be honest. Don't like this spot. This is a really bad spot. Wait, I can't go that way. Oh dear lord. I don't like this either. This is a little bit too open. Okay, we got some bullets for the decals. That's going to be good. So these are a little bit higher power than the, uh, than the Glocks. Okay, he's, this is his final, like, recovery. I can't stay where we were, which is a little bit sad because I would have liked to have been able to stay there. Um, please. I would like to be able to stay there so I could keep track of him, but uh, unfortunately it's not going to work. So he's probably going to come from somewhere that I'm not expecting. Um, let's get up through here. Got lots of bullets left. Lots of bullets. Don't see him. I don't hear him either. Is the other scary thing, right? I'm trying to be quiet so I can hear. Oh, I hear him. He's coming up here. Yeah. I really want to make this a win. But I'm not sure how well that's going to work. Ah, I've gone the wrong way again. I don't like being over this way. Time to finish him off with the beagles, I guess. You're dead. You're dead. You ain't, you ain't doing that. Oh. Honestly, I kind of messed up the fight at the beginning a little bit. But that worked out pretty well in the end. I'd say I handled it really well. Good job, me. Heck yeah. I like that one. So we got 12,000 dosh. We are so close to being able to go onto a different map. I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.